everybody to look on the screen beautiful two-year-old with her mother an update on this issue I don't know what it's gonna take for the women to get it I, I, I at this point I don't know what's it gonna take these men have nothing to offer you they cannot be an asset to your life they're nothing but a liability but black women are gonna keep on scraping the bottom of the barrel this is is on I can't even imagine so he need a chance yeah when you invite dust into your life somebody at minimum your peace of mind and finances but it's to a point somebody when you have dust in your life somebody guaranteed to go night night so what did they what did, what what is she saying happened what's the report her face was just covered in blood he hit her with something really hard and then he he called me on facetime and he showed me that she he choked her on facetime as i was on there and he told i said trey that is your daughter that is your daughter stop that is your daughter she loves you i care about her you care about her like let me stop right there how could you hit this baby who could do that see these men have a hate black women still don't get it they don't get it because if you did you wouldn't be dealing with it now if you do get it and you're still dealing with it speaking collectively then something is wrong with you you don't love yourself how could you hit any child hit this beautiful baby wait a minute FaceTime he wants her to see what he's doing I don't keep on picking up dust he wants her to see what he's doing and then she said, you know, this is your daughter, you know, I love her, or, uh, you know, you love her. This is where you sisters, some of y'all not getting it. I'm sorry to tell you, you really don't get it. He doesn't love you, honey, and he sure as hell don't love your child. You're thinking as a parent, oh, he does have some problems, we can work it out. He doesn't love the child. You do, obviously. But in cases like this in general, how could you do this to somebody you love? These men do not love their offspring. That's why they do what they do. These men don't love you. They're incapable. Some people are just destroyed. But you're going to keep on building you a boo. And this is what they do. He doesn't. I'm, he doesn't. Oh, yes, he does. Y you think? In my opinion, he doesn't. This is crazy. He don't love the baby mama. Why do you think he wants you to see this? He wants to hurt you. And you, when you let them in your life, you just open up the door for tragedy. Expect the tragedy. Black women, some still don't get it. You call yourself going to prove somebody wrong. And again, just speaking in general, because I don't know the young lady and she's going through a lot. You call yourself going to uh, prove somebody wrong. I'm going to show him. No, they're going to show you. They're showing us every day what they think and still don't get it keep on ending up on a darn screen she you you love no he doesn't honey he does not love that child nor you why do you think he wants to hurt you so bad he wants you to see and that's what and this again this is my opinion a ain't no way he, he loves her these men don't love their children i'm sorry it sounds crazy but they show every day that is your daughter stop that is your daughter she loves you I care about her. You care about her. Like that is your daughter. And he told me his exact words was, you only love that man. So you did this to her. Kirsten Watson tells Fox 26. She's still numb and in shock okay. around 10 o'clock Monday morning. Her child's father identified by police as 25 year old Deontre Flanagan stormed into her job at Walmart in North Harris County. He had their two year old daughter, Zavea Marie, who had just been dropped off at daycare in his arms. And he began screaming at Watson. He just wanted my phone. He's screaming at me, cursing me out, telling me what's the passcode. Tell me the passcode or she's going to get it like. And I'm telling him the passcode, and I'm telling him over and over and over. But at the end of the day, I guess it just wasn't enough. After he took off with Savea in hand, police say Flanagan took deputies on a 30-mile chase. The car eventually came to a stop on Stubner Airline Drive near Veterans Memorial. 
where officers took Flanagan into custody uninjured. But little Zavea required CPR until life flight arrived. She died at the hospital. She was just such a happy baby, and I just know she's at peace. Watson says in the week leading up to this incident, she had to contact police on three different occasions about Flanagan. But she was told there was nothing they could do. The first day he took he took my child, like I was giving her a bath in the tub. He stormed in and he took her like out the tub. She wasn't even dressed. And he just took her out the house and drove away in the car. We've been going our separate ways. And I let him be, but he just, he couldn't let me be. He couldn't let me be happy. He couldn't let me move on with my life. His family now sharing their story, hoping it helps someone else. And I wonder about how many others of theirs is around the world right now, around the United States right now, that's having the same problem. This in the city, this in the state. You're going to keep on having the same problem when you keep dealing with these men. It's like living in a delusion. Quick question. If that dusty man had a million dollars, do you think he would be with his baby mom? I'm just going to be real with you. If he had a million dollars, more than likely he wouldn't be with any black woman. You understand what I'm saying? They want to control something. So they want to try to find a woman and break you down and control you. Snatch the child with no clothes on. Boy, that, that concerns me right there. Who, who does that? Out the bathtub, just snatch her. What are we teaching our daughters? Oh, let's go find you one. It's going to be all right. It's not all right. And you're going to keep on having this problem when you keep on inviting dust into your life. I don't care that she works at Walmart. Again, we you got to set some parameters before a man can date you. I don't care. He could be professional. Good for him. Work at Walmart. It doesn't matter. A man has nothing. He's lower than you. What are you expecting? And this stuff keeps happening over and over again. Again, some black women, we are in a... you. Are delusional. You really think trying to fool yourself that these men, these men love you, they care about you. He, he, they, they love their child, their children. They don't. Are they the ones that do? They wouldn't do this. A decent father wouldn't dare think about doing this to his child. Man, you would catch those hands if not something else. We're gonna keep on being delusional. We, we, we call ourselves. We're gonna, we're gonna make this reality work. We're gonna make this family work. We're going to make this love work. It's, it's working all right. Everybody getting paid. The lawyers. Definitely the uh, funeral home. We're going to make this love. I'm going to make me a family. I don't. Why does this keep on happening? We're not setting any parameters in place. You got to get these young women together. Uh, he doesn't qualify. Well, he got, but girl, if I heard about potential one more time, I'm going to somebody. He got potential. And you know, darn well, most of them don't have potential. This is, I don't know if it's just desperation. And think he put on FaceTime. She said he hit him with something. The child was beaten and was bloody. And then he showed the grandfather. They, they keep showing you what they think. These young women going to keep on pulling up dusk. You're going to make, sweetie. To black women around that are dealing with this issue, you can't fix him, baby. You can't even fix you because what you don't understand is that you deserve better. I don't care. You got a low paying job. A man is supposed to be a protector and a provider. From low paying job, regular job to educated, it's the same thing happening over and over again. Why? Because black women don't want to get it. You think you know, but collectively, do you really know your man? Well, 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 nothing. Do you know him? This man, in my opinion, he's demonic. And you thinking he love you, he wants to hurt you. This is all they do. They, they, Dusty's been dr drama, death, and trauma. The financial implication, let alone loss of life. It's too much stuff to the nation. But until these women get it together, and the ones before them got to break this cycle, admit that you made a mistake. Why the heck the one before you didn't tell you nothing? Going to keep on having the same drama over and over again, on the screen, over, over and over again. One thing that is guaranteed over and over again 
is death to women and children in Blackistan. Just horrible. The child didn't ask to be or she didn't ask for this. But they're going to keep on creating uh, with uh, with Dust Buckets and Dust Bucket Jr. Keep going to keep on doing it. That's what you're going to get. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. Simply said here on YouTube. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.